Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.16 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine, determine voltages V1 through V3 in the circuit of figure 3.65 using nodal analysis. Okay, let's see the circuit and what can we infer from this circuit here. This is our ground here. So the voltage here will be zero. Good. And right off the bat, we can get the value of V3 here. Why? Because V3 is 13 volt from the ground. So we get our first result. V3 is equal to 13 volt. Okay, let's highlight that because that is one of the question that asked by the question. Okay, that's good. And now let's mark our notes here. V1 is here and V2 is here. And because this is connected with this voltage source this will be a super node okay. yeah. the one that I mark gray here will be a super node okay that is our super node great and from the inside of the super node, we have V1 minus V2 is equal to 2 V0. Let's write that. So we will have V1 minus V2 is equal to 2 V0. Remember what is V0? V0 is this one, but that is the same as V2. Okay. so now we will have V1 minus V2 is equal to 2 V2. Let's move this to the left hand side. So I will have V1 minus 3 V2 and that will equal 2 0. Let's set this as equation number. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current here. Maybe let's assume this is going down. This is going up. I just follow this arrow here. And this is going down, this is going to the right, and then this is going to the right. Okay. We can do KCL at our super node. KCL at super node. KCL state that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this 2 ampere, so I will have 2. And then this current here is going out. and But this current is 1 Siemens, so I will have 1 multiplied by V1 minus 0 here. Okay, that's good. And then what is the other nodes that goes out? So this one here, so I will have plus 2 Siemens. Yeah. multiplied by V1 minus V3. V1 minus V3. But V3 is 13, so I will have 13 here. Good. And now this one here, I will have plus 4 V2 minus 0. V2 minus 0. Okay. And then let's put this to the left. And now we will have plus 8, then V2 minus 13. Minus 13. Okay, that's good. Now let's do some arithmetic here. So I will have 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by V1 minus 0. It's just V1. Okay. And then let's distribute this. So I will have 2 V1 minus 26 okay and then we will have 4 multiplied by v2 minus 0 that is just 4 v2 okay and then we will have plus 8 v2 okay and then what can we get from here minus 13 multiplied by 8 13 multiplied by 8 is just 104 okay so I will have 
100. This is 82. No. Okay, now what can we do from here? I will have 2 here and then V1 plus 2 V1, 3 V1, and then any another V1 here? I think, I don't think so, so I will have 3 V1. And then we will have 12 V2. And then minus 100 and good. And now we will have 3 V1 plus 12 V2 is equal to 132. Good. Now we will have V1 plus 4 V2. That will equal to, let's divide that by 3, right? 44. That is 44. This is equation number two. And we have two equation and two variable. We should be able to solve this, right? Let's do exactly that. So let's set up our equation solver, this button here. And equation solver is number five. Two variables is number one. And then we will have one minus three and then a zero. And the second equation, I will have 1, 4, and 44. Okay, so I will have P1 here is 18.857. So I have P1 is 18 point, what is it? 857. Good. And then P2, which is P2. I think that is not a good number. Yeah, I will have 6.286. 6.286. And the unit here will be volt. And this V2 is also volt. And we got V3 here, which is 13 volt. And I think that's all for this question. This is the answer. Maybe let's highlight the answer. P1 is this scar in here, and then P2 is this voltage here, and then P3 is this voltage here. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video, and bye-bye.